<clears throat> Welcome back to prime time in Houston right now, man. Week eight, we just look. Week eight was our bye week. We did a whole lot of changes. We had to make some changes to our defense. Although we are sitting at seven and zero in the best situation possible for the Houston Texans that day. This is something they haven't done ever, in my opinion, right? But we're coming up against the Chiefs. Don't look at three and five. Look at Patrick Mahomes as the quarterback of this team. We're going to dive deep into who we got to play, the matchups, and things we're going to deal with in this game. First, we're going to get to the Chiefs roster and see what we got to deal with before we re recap on what we did during our bye week and our off our bye week, our off week. What did we do to try to improve our football team? First up, first and foremost, Patrick Mahomes. Let's go check out Patrick Mahomes and the abilities he has. All right, so you're looking at Dash and Dead Eye, red zone threat. You're looking at Pass Lead Elite. No look, dead eye, and comebacks, and bazooka. All right, so he got hell of a archetypes, hell of a traits that he got to go along with him right now. Um, in a run game, we're gonna deal with Cam Akers. They they picked up Cam Akers. They still have Isaiah Pacheco, James Connors over there, and then the, the the young boy Dwayne McBride out of UAB. Right at the receiver position, you got Emeka Ibuka sitting at the number one. This kid is a rookie right now. He's the best receiver on this team. Hardman still comes with that speed, so he got a guy that can stretch the field like Tyreek Hill used to do for him. Kadarius Tony is the jack of all trees. You know this guy; he can do a little bit of everything. Handoffs, running the ball, he's going to be a, a problem with the ball on his hand. Corey Davis, he's always been an underrated receiver in my opinion. At 29 years old, and then Allen Robinson, the second, 31. They got two veterans to hold this thing down. On the offensive side of things, Travis Kelsey is still Travis Kelsey. They got Tucker Craft from out of South Dakota, and they still got Noah Gray. So they're in good hands with tight end position now. As far as blocking it up, Orlando Brown is the left tackle. We're looking at Joe Thune, 31 years old, 91 overall. They got 95 overall center and Creed Humphreys at right guard. You're looking at a guy that's 89 and Trey Smith. They got dogs. They got a rookie, Con Connor Kobe, sitting here, too, that can probably push for some playing time. And at right tackle, you're looking at Luke Haggard, one year and 82. If there's any weakness on this offensive line, it's the right tackle position. This is the youngest player. This is the lowest overall player that they have on their front line. When it comes down to the defensive thing, George Kaliftis is, uh, is still an animal. You're looking at Kendrick Brown. And the rookie, he probably not going to play as much, but Keon White developed into a monster after one season with 92 overall. Then you're looking at the tackles, Chris Jones. He is one of the best player, players in the league at that position. Jacqueline Roy, big time LSU. And then you got Peyton Page, the rookie out of Clemson. So they kind of young there, but you still got a veteran that can hold it down. Jeremy Banks had a good first year. He's the 82 overall. You're looking at middle linebackers, Nick Bolton. You got Shaka Hayward, right? And then Leo Chanel all sitting on his linebacker level. Ethan Calvert comes in and he's the starter at the right outside linebacker. And then you look at the secondary. Ladarius Wright, Ladarius Wright, I mean, Ladarius Snead is a superstar. Then you're looking at Trent McDuffie, another superstar. These two are two young corners that are developing into shutdown guys over here. So they got solid corners over here. Even at the third, they will go pick up Avante Maddox while Jalen Watson and then Joshua Williams are in development stage. At the safety position, they got Jalen Catalone from the Arkansas transfer to Texas. He's a dog. Julian Blackman could play. And then Justin Reed at the strong safety position, along with Brandon Joseph out of Notre Dame. So this team has a little bit of youth. They got a little, a lot of veterans still running around. Um, and I think on both sides of the ball, when it comes down to offense and defense, they have a powerful offensive line that keep Patrick Mahomes upright. So our challenge to get into Patrick Mahomes is going to be everything. They also have a good front four, right? We like uh, Carliftis. Um, and we like uh, the veteran at D-Tackle. So we got work to do. Our work is cut out. Now, let's recap what we've done uh, over the bye week, right? We found a way to try to move Shiloh Sanders around. He's been struggling playing the base safeties, right? We want him to do a little bit more. We're going to look to see him at nickelback a lot more, right? Slot corner, nickelback for us to be able to give him a different feel to try to move him around and get the best play out of Shiloh. Shiloh's not, I mean, he, it looks like Shiloh's not having a great season, right? Um, but he's definitely up there in tackles. He's one of the best tacklers on our team, and he does have two interceptions. We just feel Shiloh is more than a guy that put play deep or a guy at strong table to come down in the box. We think he can do everything for us. So we're going to start to use Shiloh. Remember, Shiloh left high school as a cornerback and he left as a four-star cornerback got to South Carolina he moved into safety and he's been a really good safety from for South Carolina Jackson State and Colorado now they're in the NFL and we feel like with his body type his size and his skill set and the way he can cover uh as a safety we can use him in, in some third down uh I mean third third cornerback spots 
uh, nickel back, bring him down to play that star position, that Jalen Ramsey position, allow him to do some things that uh, will allow him to bring his athleticness to the forefront. Let's get it. Now, when we come back, we will have interviews and conversations and we'll talk about who's our guys that are mic'd up for tonight's game against the Kansas City Chiefs. When we come back in Houston, Chiefs, Texans, ball game.